So it's a right miserable afternoon here, tipping down with rain, freezing cold. So I've got the fire on and I've decided that I've got an hour to kill. I'm going to make a barrette set. They seem to be very popular at the moment all over the internet. And I just thought I'd have a go. Never made one before. So we're going to do it out of stainless. So I've got two bits of stainless, ten and a half inches for the main part, eight inches for the uh, pin. That's quarter stainless. Don't ask me what grade because I haven't got a clue, it's just some that came in a job lot. Um, so we're going to get it warm and give it some beans. It's actually quite a bit tougher to forge than mild steel. Um, just takes a little bit more effort. And you can see how quickly that's cooling down. It heats up fairly quickly, but it cools mighty quick. But you can work it um, in its black state relatively uh, easily, um, which I won't be doing at the beginning, but towards the end, to get rid of the hammer marks, it'll be, you know, people will be shouting, get it warm, get it warm, but it actually works much nicer when it's at a black heat to get rid of the hammer marks. So we're getting there. And I'm hammering quite lightly because I, I'm sort of almost there and I just want to get rid of the hammer marks now so I'm not, you know, going full on. So I'm to turn it back into round rather than sort of hexagonal or multi-sided. Try and run down those little marks. There we go. That's about it. I'm just going to put a little curly cue on the end. I want to close this right up tight because I don't want anyone's hair to get caught in it so I'm trying to keep it nice and tight although hair could still get caught I suppose but there you go that's that end so we'll do exactly the same with the other end but this end when I put the curly cue on I want it to go in the opposite direction um, it doesn't matter if you forget because you can twist it easily enough being round but it's just as easy to get it right in the first place. I'll speed this one up a bit because it's exactly the same as the previous one. Just doing it cold or colder towards the end. Now another curly cue on this one. Let's say going the opposite direction this time. Just pulling it back towards itself, like pull it back and up so you don't get too much damage to it. That'll just about do, I reckon. There you go, you can see what I mean. Got one going one way, one going the other. Of course the camera won't focus on that. So now what I want to do, I'm just going to put a little square flat in the middle. And I've put a tiny little mark in the centre, but I can't actually see it. So I'm going to guess it, because it's going cold a bit quick. I'm just doing about, I don't know, three and a half, four inches. Just squaring it off because I'm going to put a twist in it. Straightener up. Just do a little bit more, I think. I'm going to. 
trying to work the transitions in. I don't really want a heavy step where it goes from the round to the square, so I'm just going to try and uh, blend them in a little bit. That'll do. It's not much, but it's enough. It'll show once it's twisted. So I'm going to try and warm the middle up, stick it in the vise, put a bit of a twist in. Now the problem I'm having now is because I've blended the square into the round, I can't see where the square starts. So I'm sort of struggling a bit. Again, I want to be quick because it's cooling down so fast. It appears to be only twisting towards the bottom. So let's get the top hot again. And try and uh, just do the top half. So I'm putting it in the other way up this time. You see the top half now is twisted. I'm just trying to twist the other end. That's about right, but we've got a bit of a flat in the middle where the two halves so I've just cooled it out and I'm just going to try and get that middle to just tighten up a bit you see I'm even managing to twist that when it looks cold but it is actually still very hot this black heat now then I'm going to use my jig that I made I'm just going to pull this round and this will need a bit of a hammering round because the stainless is that much tougher than mild steel. If that was mild steel at quarter inch, that would just pull around there. No bother. I'm just encouraging it round with a the hammer. There you go. And we do exactly the same to the other end. Again, just give it a little tap round. Just to keep it tight onto the, the jig. There we go. Nice. Now I'm going to put the bend in the other way. And I'm going to use the fly press. Might as well use the tools you've got. So this will give it a nice even bend. Stop, you know, save mucking about on the, the anvil trying to get it right. Just give it a little bump. So I can get it out and show you. That looks a bit funny but I'll show you it in a minute and that will be a nice even bend you can see there look at that you wouldn't get that that quickly mucking about with it on the anvil so let's give it a quick wire brush up there we go now I'm gonna leave it satin I'm not gonna polish it um, I, I like the satin finish for this type of thing and it leaves the hammer marks showing. There you go, you can see how nice that shape is. I don't know if it's enough shape or too much shape, because I've never made one and never used one. Or don't know anyone who uses one. So now we're going to start on the pin. Um, again, exactly the same as before, taper one end. Because I'm going to put like a little shepherd's crook on this end. I guess talking about the uh, how much shape you need in that first bit, it depends how thick the person's hair is. If they've got a lot of it and it's really thick, then it's going to be a job to to get it in if the arch isn't enough. So it's going to be a bit of trial and error, I think. So again, I'm just putting another little curly cue on, exactly the same as the first two. That'll do it. Now I'm going to cool that out and just put it over there and give it a little tap round. So it warmed it up again. Cool the tip out just so you don't damage it because, as I say, this stainless is much tougher than mild steel and it will damage. Just pull that back a bit because that's bent a bit far down. 
That's the start of it. I'm going to need it nice and warm to do this bit because it uh, needs pushing round to where it's got to go. Obviously, if it's not hot, it won't go. I think that'll do. I'll leave it at that. And then we're going to draw the other end out into a nice slender taper. So I'm going to come quite far back with this taper. Difficult to hold on to. I've got a decent set of tongs ready. I want to stop one day and make a load of tongs. Occasionally I do make them when I need them for a specific job, but I don't make enough. Speed this bit up a bit. Change hammers and go on to uh, the cleaning up stage, as you could call it. It's again going to do quite a bit cold or cold black heat. It's not actually cold because um, this is where I'm going to try and get all these hammer marks and the lines out of it. I don't want to get everything out because obviously it wants to look handmade, but I don't want it too hexagonal or multi sided. I want it fairly round. This works quite nicely at black heat. I'm just going to do one last pass. You can see I'm hardly hissing it at all now until that goes a little bit darker. And that's pretty good. That's got most of the marks out. I just want to straighten it up really. Make sure it hasn't got any kinks in it. There we go. Bit of a banana, but just check it for straight. That ain't bad. So that's what stainless looks like once it's been forged. Dark grey. So we're going to give this one a, a bit of a go with the wire brush as well. And see if we can't get this one nice and shiny. Voila! Again, leaving it satin because um, it just shows you've still got those tiny, you know, a few marks in it, a few hammer marks I didn't get out. It just shows the handmade side to it. And I like the satin, it's nice to feel. It doesn't stain or mark like uh, real shiny stuff. So let's see the two of them together. So there you go. All I've got to do now is take them home, see if I can persuade my wife to try them on, and see if I've got the shape right. So let's get it home and have a go. Ralph doesn't like to be left out of anything. So here we go, let's see if it'll work. Don't know how women do these things without being able to see what they're up to. Looks promising. There you go. Seems to work a treat.